Hello. Today's lesson is going to be about eighth notes. We're going to be doing some book work. Um, we're going to be on page 30 in the book. As for now, make sure that your instrument is all tuned up, ready to go. I'm going to be showing you page 30 through the Smart Music program. And here's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that now. All right. So this is number 144. And we have our eighth notes here. This first line is written as percussion. Um, so it's meant to be clapped out. So um, we've talked about quarter notes and half notes and whole notes before, but now we're talking about eighth notes. So if you remember all of the things you learned in math class about fractions, you probably remember that eighths are smaller than quarters. So when we count our eighth notes, two eighth notes are going to make the equivalent of one quarter note. And we're going to count with ands in between all of these so that we still have an idea of where beat one and two and three and four are. But we're going to put the ands in between to account for that smaller note in between the beats. So for number 144, we're going to count it out. It's going to go one and two and three, four. 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 So the good news is the same rhythm over and over and over again with a repeat at the end. Okay, so the first thing we should do probably is to clap through that. All right, so I'm gonna hit play. Um, there's accompaniment that's turned up. There, my part is not on right now, and the metronome is on, and we have 72 beats a minute. So this should be okay. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. So there's that rhythm. I wonder, oh, look, if I move the cursor down there, then we have the notes to play on our instrument. This is the violin version, because um, most of my students are violinists, and I'm playing violin today. Um, so then we can play this one. We have D, 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 E, E, F, 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 G, G, A, 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 B, B, C, 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 D, D, and then it repeats, and if you, say, oh, that looks familiar. Well, that's your D major scale, right? So we're just going to use the D major scale to play through this. All right, get ready to play. Here we go. So we got some new rhythms going on in here. Let's move ahead to number 145. We're going to have the same thing happening on number 145 with the rhythm line first and then to play it on our instrument. Sometimes this takes a second or two to load up, so you have to be patient. And hopefully it won't crash like it was crashing on me yesterday. Ah, now we're in business. Okay, so you have the same sort of rhythm. It's just backwards. We're going to do the quarter notes first. So let's clap it out. Ready? Here we go. Very good. Okay, now put the cursor on the second 
line of this, and we have the pitches that we need to play. D, F, E, 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 G, F, 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 A. Fourth finger for the violins and violas there. G, 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 B, C, D, 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 D. Repeat. Let's play. Moving on, number 146. Put my instrument on my lap because I know we're going to be doing a rhythm first. Okay, so you saw that our eighth notes happened in groups of four on the last two exercises, and now they're happening in groups of two. Same idea. They gave you the counting here for the, for the beginning of this. One, two, and three, four, and. All right, let's get ready to clap. accompaniment there. All right, look at the notes on the line below it. We have D, 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 F, 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 A string, A, A, D, high D, 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 A, 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 F, 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 D, D, D. All right, and then it repeats. So be careful that the notes are skipping when your fingers are not on the string because you're playing D or A. Get ready for the next time you have fingers on the string so that you're not late with those fingers. Let's play. Get ready. fancy word. What we just played was an arpeggio. A-R-P-E-G-G-I-O. Arpeggio. And that particular pattern of notes, D, F, A, and D, would make an arpeggio. All right, I've got one more left today. Number 147. And we're going to clap through that rhythm line first. If you notice it, when you see it, um, it's a two-measure pattern. Okay, so you have quarter notes in the first measure, and then you have eight eighth notes in the second measure, and then it just kind of repeats. So get ready. Here we go. One, two, three. Good. Then the notes. Ah, these notes are not that bad. We have G and then F, then E, and then D. We're going to stay on the D string. All right. The notes here are a little easier, I think, than the last one. So get ready to play. Here we go. Okay, 
that takes you through all of page 30. Um, some basic eighth note rhythm patterns. We're going to do some more of that next time. As for now, I'm going to say bye-bye. Take care.